Hello everyone and welcome to another Voluta Digital Release Form tutorial. Today we're going to be going through the entire process of filling out the release form so that you can better and more confidently guide your clients through the process. So let's jump right in. As your client taps the screen, they're going to be greeted with two different options, new client or returning client. If you're looking for information on how to handle returning clients, please click the icon in the top right. Otherwise, continue watching as we talk about how to set up a new release form for a new client. So as your client taps on the new client option, the app is gonna open up the camera and here is where your client is gonna take a picture of their ID. Depending on how the iPad is set up in your studio, you have the option to use the front or rear camera and you also can retake photos if you're not quite satisfied with the photo you got. If you and your client are satisfied though, you're just simply gonna tap on the use photo option and the first section we're gonna be greeted with is all of your client's personal information. Here they're gonna be inputting things like their name, date of birth, country, phone number, and an emergency contact. At the end of each page, a pop-up will appear, making sure that your client is happy with all the information that they just input. From here, they can go back and make changes, or they can tap finish page to move on to the next one. Up next, you and your client are going to be going over information about today's session. First up, you're going to be selecting which artist is going to be working with your client today. When you first set up the app, it requires you to input an artist in the settings menu. If you haven't done that yet, make sure you check out the icon up in the top right. After that, a pop-up will appear asking for the location of today's service, followed by a text field where you or your client can input additional information about the service. This can be extremely helpful later on if you're reviewing information from a returning client to make sure that you have the right session. On the next page, we have social engagement. Here your client can tap to add any kind of referral that they may have had to your business, and they can also decide to opt into any email promotions that you have. Following that, we have one of the most important pages in the whole release form app, and that is health questions. Be sure that you and your client take your time scrolling through all the allergies, diseases, and health condition options. All the ones you see here are the ones that come standard when you first install the app, and if you're curious about how to add more options to your list, just click on the icon in the top right. When you're done scrolling through all of that information, down at the very bottom, your client can tap and add how long it's been since they last ate. And then we get to the final page for your clients, the legal page. Here your clients will review all of the legal clauses and input their initials to make sure that they understand them. And if your client inputs the wrong initials, they'll be greeted with a prompt that won't allow them to continue any further until they input the correct initials. And finally, when they're done initialing all of the legal clauses, they just need to sign their name and tap done. And while your client might be done with the release form, you still have a little bit more work to do. At this point, it'll prompt you for the artist passcode. And as the pop-up states, the only thing that you technically need to input here is your signature. After that pop-up, you'll be greeted with yet another pop-up, making sure that you're aware of any of your client's health conditions, allergies, or diseases. Before we go ahead and put our signature on this release form, let's be sure to go over all the other options. First up, we have the piercing description. Here you can select the type of services you're gonna be providing that day, the location of those services, and the kind of piercings that you're gonna be doing. Below that, you can select the jewelry being used. This allows you to get nice and specific for tracking your inventory and provide more thorough information when looking at past sessions. Up next, we have session financials. You can input the amount due, amount paid, any deposits, total tax, and payment method. Up next, we can add supporting documents to our release form. You can either take a picture of the supporting document or you can upload it from your iPad's image library. And our final option before signing the release form is artist notes. And that's pretty much it. When you're satisfied with everything, just tap signature, sign your name, and then tap finish and upload. If for any reason you need to go back and change some client information, you can tap on options in the bottom left. And if you need to save the release form to finish later, you can tap save for later. Thank you for watching this Voluta Digital Release Form tutorial. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel with more tutorials on how to set up and best utilize your app. And don't forget, if you're ever offline and unable to watch one of our videos, you can always head into your app and go to our How to Set Up and Use FAQ. And when you are connected, use our support page for more help.